So HMD has revived the iconic Nokia Lumia under the name of the HMD Skylight. And the best part about this smartphone is not its specs but rather its repairability. In this smartphone, you can replace not only the back, but you can replace the front display, you can replace the battery, and finally you can replace the charging board. And the best part, this smartphone is not that expensive. So without wasting any precious time, let's begin. Now before talking about the specs, let's talk about the most important feature of this smartphone and that is its repairability. Four major components of this smartphone can be replaced. That is, you can repair this smartphone by yourself. Now the CMF Phone 1 is a good phone, but there you can only replace the back housing. So you can't change the battery, nothing like that. I mean, it's a good step forward, but it is definitely not as amazing as the HMD Skyline. Here you can replace the back, the display, the battery and the charging board. And I have to say this here is amazing news for all the consumers out there. Because with this implemented, customers can save a ton of money when it comes to repairing their smartphones. Now usually repairs for especially the display cost a whole lot of money. But now HMD giving you access to do that by yourself, you can save a ton of money. And the only thing that you'll be spending money on is definitely going to be the replacement part. Other than that, since you're doing it all by yourself, you are definitely good to go. And you need not go blindly into the repairing process because they have teamed up with iFixit to make this possible. Now, when you go to the iFixit website, there is an entire user guide on how to repair each and every component of the HMD Skyline and they have given it in detail. So for anyone planning to do a repair, it is going to be very easy. And iFixit themselves have given it a repair score of nine and that directly translates to easy repairability. Now I think what HMD has done here is an incredible initiative and I really hope all the smartphone companies follow with it. And I have to say this is one of the best features of the HMD Skyline. And the other best thing is definitely the iconic design. Yes, there are some changes when it comes to the camera layout, but of course, you know, sensors these days are big, not like the smaller ones in those days. So they have to accommodate somewhere. But the general design, you know, the flat top and bottom, the beautiful display with the little housing on the outer edge, you know, all that is really good to look at, you know, that nostalgic feel definitely comes with the HMD Skyline. But sadly, there are only two colors here, this kind of purplish pink and black. I really hope, you know, the iconic yellow was available, you know, that would sell like hot cake. But I'm really glad they bought back the iconic design. And with that said, here are the specs on screen right now. Make sure you pause it and take a look. Now taking a look at the specs, I have to say this here is a decent mid-ranger. It's not something like super impressive, but it'll definitely get the job done. Now when it comes to gaming, you can definitely play games like Call of Duty and PUBG at 60 FPS. That is if you just lower the graphic settings a little bit and keep the frame rate at extreme. If you do that, you can definitely get consistent 60 FPS and daily performance is definitely going to be solid and as you know, you know, these smartphones are near stock Android, so performance is not going to be an issue. And gaming, if you lower the settings, I think you are good to go. Now, there are certain compromises here and there. For example, the charging port, the USB-C port is only USB 2.0. That's fine. The battery capacity is around 4,600. It's good, but not as good as the 5,000 or 5,500 milliamp hours you get with other smartphones. Now, when you take a look at the specs, this is definitely a decent smartphone. In fact, I would say it is a good smartphone. And when you take a look at the price, so this in UK is being sold for 400 pounds. And for that price, I think this here is a pretty decent smartphone. Now, I'm pretty sure they could have priced it lower, but I think this price is because of all the R&D that has gone into making sure this smartphone is repairable. You know, they have to engineer the smartphone to make sure, you know, users can easily access all the parts that needs to be changed. And I'm sure in that, you know, the costs have increased a little bit, but still for 400 pounds, I think this here is a compelling smartphone. But sadly, you're not going to get this in India. Even if they launch it, if it is priced around 25 or 27,000, I think this will sell like hotcake too. 
Now the HMD Skyline is not going to win any awards in terms of performance or battery life or anything like that. But this here is a very good smartphone with really good specs for the price. But most of all, it gives user a peace of mind cause they need not shell out too much of money if anything happens to the smartphone. And I think this here is great initiative from HMD and I really hope other companies start following this. So thanks for watching and this here is Suman signing off once again. Catch you later.